Hey, what's going on guys? It's Maya here, and I want to thank you guys so much for the insane support on my last two base videos. We reached over 1600 subscribers and 100,000 channel views in no time, and I never thought my videos would ever reach this many people, so I really appreciate it. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you guys haven't already, join my Discord, link down in the description below. Alright, starting off the base tour, we have one of three external TCs. It. Let's connect it like so. Let's connect it like that. Here we have our gatehouse with an air block. Some bedroom respawns in it. As well as a way to look in the compound and behind the furnace wall. Going on out. We have some drop boxes and two turrets behind chain link. I watched the compound and behind the furnace wall. Moving on over, we have some more bedroom respawns and our unbreakable turrets behind ramps that would cover our bunkered loot. Got some peaks out and in the compound, as well as a way to access both of our turrets. Moving on up, we have some more peaks back towards the base, as well as peaks outside. Going on over into our shell, we have some furnaces, and we're met with our breach peaks with turret that covers the lanes. These breach peaks look outside in the compound very well, offers a lot of angles, and it's also our mobility chute up to the roof. We have some more roof peaks here, on either side and some drop boxes. Continue going up. And we have these campfire peaks below our roof conditionals. Moving on up, we have some hidden bedroom respawns and some loot that we can store in here, as well as our ladder hatch up. We'll get back to the roof later. Moving back down into the first floor shell, we have some more respawns as well as boxes up top to re-kit from, and our battery. Moving on into our starter unit, there are three entrances in, and three jump ups. We have four boxes times three, though if you want you can break this wall and use this space for another box on top and below. We have nine furnaces, plenty of space to run around in, and our TC is hidden behind our workbench. Moving on up, we have our way into the open core as well as our bunkered loot accessible from the open core. Should be two more boxes here. Seal it up like so. Jumping on into the open core. Our loot rooms have hidden boxes down below on either side, and it's easy to run around in. And it also has three turrets to watch your loot. Moving on up, we have some free peaks back in with a single door, and over here we have some more respawns to look back in the compound, as well as anyone outside. Jumping on up, we have some more roof peaks on either side as well as a turret that watches our furnace lab floor. These roof peaks provide great angles back into the compound, as well as into the base and on the roof and inside the base. This is where you can do all your furnace lab activities and it is a collapsible, so in the event a raid happens, the turrets will watch down below as well as peaks opening back up. Moving on up, we have another peak back in that watches the roof door, as well as some peaks down into the compound. We also have a roof breach peak here, provides a lot more angles, as well as a peak back onto our roof and anyone on our turbines. Moving on over, we have some more roof peaks protected by ramps, just makes it harder to shoot you and 
harder to see. Going on into the roof, we are met with a bunch of turrets that cover every inch of the roof. A variety of mountain roofs style peaks. We have this peak down into the compound that blocks raiders from seeing you in a tower, as well as our way down into our mobility chute. Jumping on here, we have some roof respawns and some double chain link, as well as our turret. These bedroom respawns provide angles back down in the compound, and you can shoot out long range. We have some more roof respawns with a locker and our turret above them. This turret is protected from the top, as well as still being able to shoot down below. We also have more double chain link with some slides down below. Up here, we just have some more respawns strewn about, as well as our wind turbine. Now, let's learn how to build it. Starting off the base build, you go ahead and secure your build spot with a triangle, really white. We're going to go ahead and build the rest of the starter footprint, so we're turning on three-sided symmetry. Keep this triangle open to multi-TC from later, and we'll seal in the rest. The squares are for our loot rooms. Place our furnaces in this triangle and seal them up. And now we can work on our airlocks. Single door airlock at the front, and on the side is where our jump up will be. For now, we'll just double door that off. Moving inside, we'll place another double door for the airlock, and we'll begin placing our boxes in the loot rooms. We'll place some more frames down and place garage doors to section up our starter, and close off our loot room. Go ahead and place your sleeping bags any way you like. And in front of the tool cupboard, you can place your tier 2. Eventually, you'll replace it with a tier 3. You can also fit a small box beneath. Your starter should look like this when it's fully built up. Now we'll turn on three sided symmetry, and we're gonna do the multi TC. Place a triangle, and then we're going to go out seven squares. And cap that with a triangle. Leave what's behind us. And go back with half moons. I'm going to upgrade these triangles to sheet metal and delete the rest. This is what it should look like when you have it fully built up. Go ahead and place a wall here to secure off our jump up later on. Do our external gatehouses. We're going to go out three squares, and on the fourth square will be our gatehouse, so we'll make that sheet metal. Put an airlock on the front. And for our external TCs, we're going to place a triangle and three more squares, and two triangles at the end of that, which is where our TC will go. Make sure you place half walls on the side closer to the base to allow our disconnectable to work. And we can place our TC down. I'm using two single doors to seal off my TC, although you can use windows, whatever works for you. Back to the gatehouse, we can start putting down our doorways and our windows on the sides. Up off the roof to seal it in. Keep 
connect our external TCs to the gatehouse. Just put frames like so. We can delete the rest of the foundations. This is how you disconnect the TC. You just place a roof and it breaks. Break the roof and you can replace it back. Switching back over to the main base, we're going to go ahead and finish building the rest of the compound. Off of the single door airlocks, we're going to make two circles. For this triangle, you want it raised. Off of this circle is going to be our bedroom gatehouses and our unbreakable turrets. Place hat falls full wall in the middle, and windows on the side. We can go ahead and start placing floors down, top and bottom. Jumping on up, we can finish the windows. And that's what it should look like. Now that we have that built up, we're ready to put down our compound walls. We're going to replicate that on both sides. Now that we have a compound, we can go ahead and place our large furnaces for our furnace wall. To fully set up our external gatehouse, a lot of the deployment is tricky. So what you're going to want to do first is set up chain link on the sides like so and then place down your metal barricades. Placing the metal barricades down first blocks the chain link sometimes. So this way is easier. Place our turrets on these two triangles. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and place low walls on the sides of that and a ramp for our drop boxes. To finish off the barricades, we're going to move on over. We're going to place two squares and this allows us to put down three metal barricades. Back inside of our external gatehouse, we're going to go ahead and put some deployables down. We're going to put two double doors down like so, windows that face the exterior, and embrasures that face the interior of our compound. Our airlock, we'll just place another window and a single door. We could use the industrial door for another peek out as well. Go ahead and place a small box to stand on for the peaks, and we can go ahead and set up our beds as well. Now that we have our compound set up, 
we can finish the rest of the first floor shell. So moving over to the multi-TC parts, we are going to place a square and two triangles. In the last triangle, we will sheet metal. And that will be our double door entrance inside of the base. Off of this square, we will use this for our compound bedroom. So we're going to set up windows on the sides and four walls on the side of those. We're going to place a double door frame as well as a double door to seal it off. We can go ahead and delete these three twig square foundations and replace it with a triangle, which is where our battery will go. So behind a single door. Do not want to place a floor above you as that is where our boxes are going to go. So to reconnect our external PCs to our multi PC, you're going to want to build like so. Leave that window space open for now so that we can place boxes. With the window removed, we can place a triangle floor on the inside and we should be able to get down three boxes. Just make sure to replace the window afterwards. To finish off the rest of the shell, we're going to start working on the circular breach peak portion. So we're going to place half walls on either side and three windows. Make sure you have these double door frames for our double chain link for our turret to shoot through. Can go ahead and start sealing in the roof. This square can get placed on either side. I have the square off of the multi TC portion of the base. This is where our mobility chute will be. We can go ahead and start setting up our breach peak windows here. Now that most of that is finished, we're going to want to build our jump up to the second floor. If you have all the deployables down like I do, you're going to want to make sure that the single door airlocks are closed. And off of this floor, you can go ahead and place a triangle floor through the wall. Go into the single door airlock and you can place a square and another triangle. And delete both of those and now we have our jump up go ahead and remove the double door and replace it with a garage door jumping on up we're gonna honeycomb our bunker loot section which is these three triangles cap it off with roofs and make sure these two walls are off of different sockets so that your bunker can open when you place a triangle roof it should open like so and make sure that this triangle roof is placed off of the correct socket as well. If it's not on the right socket when it's placed, you won't be able to open your bunker. Setting up our bunker loot, we can set up our shelves and start putting down our boxes. You can also place a shotgun trap in the open space that I was just standing in so that if a raider pushes in, the shotgun trap will break the roof and close the bunker. To begin setting up our open core, we'll place a double door right here for our entrance. And these squares will be used for our loot rooms. Go ahead and delete this triangle so that we can place our ramps. And if you would like ramps in the bottom loot rooms, those must be placed before these ramps. Go ahead and section them off with half walls like so, and floor off the top. And we'll do the same in the center. Set up a ramp for drop boxes to run around in.
I place the box below first, and then the rest of the boxes. Here is where our turret will go, so we should seal in right here. Just make sure that this triangle is off of the double door frame and not the triangle floor. Go ahead and set up half walls for our turret to sit in, and we can cap off the roof of triangles. Place our turret. seal in the roof we're just going to use all triangles it's going to leave this gap go ahead and store off our open core like so for our jump up just place a half wall and a four, and we're not going to place a double door frame as it will break our bunker. Moving up, we'll place a single door frame for a peek back into the base. Cap this off, and put some full walls right there. Single door to access our bedrooms. additional bedrooms, just build windows on the sides and a half wall and seal up the roof. Go ahead and place our beds down along with our drop boxes to hold our kits. And finish it up with embrasures. For the last embrasure, you'll have to do it from outside. A single jump should do it. And start setting up the rest of our mobility chute by placing lockers on both sides like so. And then placing our triangle roof. In the center, we'll place a half wall with a floor on top of that and a double door frame to jump on up. Place the rest of the floors in front of us, and these are where our campfire peaks below the roof conditionals will go. continue building up, we're going to floor off our breach peaks in our mobility chute. Instead of placing the floor as I show in the tutorial, I would suggest placing it off of the main base and the three triangles that you just placed to add more stability. From there, we're going to add two sets of double door frames for our mountain roof peaks later on. there we can start setting up some more breach peaks and right here will be our secret bedrooms so we can go ahead and place two double door frames that you should keep sheet metal so that you can easily place deployables 
We're going to turn around and seal off the rest as well as above us and place our ladder hatches. Placing a ladder hatch frame where the ladder hatch is and right above me gives more stability. We can set up the rest of our breach peaks like so. The half walls that face in towards the furnace lab area, I would rotate if you're going to leave them stone. It will make placement of boxes in the secret bedrooms easier. Going into the furnace lab, we're going to want to seal this off. So if we place a floor, you'll notice that we don't have stability. Go ahead and place some more wooden frames in the center and it should be able to place. To add some more stability, we're going to add a floor frame on either side of our roof reach beaks. You can sheet metal the floor frame so that it's thinner as well and we can place our roof down. To set up a beginner meth lab floor, we can go ahead and place three furnaces against the frames and one in the center. Turn symmetry back on and place three mixing tables like so. This allows you to still run around. You can place the deployables however you like though. Building the rest of the jump ups, we're gonna place two windows on the sides and half walls in the center. Your turret will go right here to watch the collapsible. And we can place a floor above it. And on the opposite side where our jump up will be, we'll place a frame along with a single door. And start putting down some door frames for our airlocks. We can seal in the rest of the roof and above our breach peaks like so. Switching our focus to the breach peaks behind us, we'll set up the frames and we'll place a half wall in front of me. I forgot to do that in the video. We can place half walls for our breach peaks and windows on top and cap off the roof like that. Place our roof and on either side of us, we will place half walls. Going back up the breach peak, we can turn around and place our little wall for the roof peak as well as a half wall. Switching our focus to the roof, we can start setting up our mini mountain roof style peaks by placing windows. And before we place the roofs, we're gonna go ahead and place this frame here for our double chain link and for our slides down below. Place windows on either side and a half wall with a window on top of it in the middle. Place floors down and two floor frames for added stability. And we can place the roofs down below us. Those are for our roof conditional beams. You can build the frames for the chain link and for our turret to sit on. and our turbine will go on top of it. Add our half walls with triangle roofs on top of them so that our turret is protected. Even with everything placed, we can still put down our wind turbine. Now we can finish up our roofs by placing them from down below and the rest of the roofs like so. To finish up the roof, we'll add our extra bedroom with chain link on top of it and we can begin to set up our unbreakable roof turrets. You're actually going to want two squares out to place our ramp initially. 
place the one on top and then the one below, and then you can delete both squares. Place a floor triangle and our turret will go on that. And below us, for our bedroom to work, we're going to add a metal triangle frame. And we're going to place our locker first and then our beds. To finish off the roof, we can also spam the bedrooms on top of the mini mountain roof peaks like so. And if you want a re-kit when you spawn on the beds up there, you can just remove one bed and place it with a box and a small box. Back in our compound bedrooms, to finish these setup, we're going to place the lockers first. And then off of these three triangles, we're going to place two beds and two beds behind it. To set up the unbreakable turrets, you're going to want to place the turret first, a little closer to the side so that you can still access it from inside, and make sure you can still place a ramp. But before that, we're going to place the chain link. Place chain link in all three spots like so, and you should be able to place the ramp through it. Place an additional ramp outside of that with a low wall to the side, and we're going to replicate that on the other side as well. Back inside of the gatehouse, we'll just set up some embrasures to peek out, as well as two double doors that open outwards. Jumping on up, we can place another ramp on the square like so. And we can add a large box on the sides of both triangles, although we will have to pick up our embrasures. go ahead and add some triangle stone frames on the outsides of the windows just so that it's harder for raiders to see in the window beak. Moving on top we can place an additional turret that this turret sees the compound and behind the furnace wall as well. Back inside of our breach peaks in our shell we can go ahead and add some embrasures that face inwards. And on the exterior, we're going to add a triangle frame with a triangle floor. Peak looks like this. To finish up our bedroom peaks in the shell and the compound, you can go ahead and add a half height floor frame in front of the window like so on both sides. Moving back inside of the shell, we can set up some ramps in front of the double doors just for added mobility. And behind it, we can set up our furnaces. To the left and right of me, place chain link fence gates. And we're going to add some additional double door frames just to section off the shell more. Moving up the mobility chute, we can go ahead and place our drop boxes down, as well as one bed. Placing the vertical embrasure on the breach peaks is quite finicky, but it is still possible. Going up, we can put a garage door down. As well as two more for our secret bedrooms.
Once you have that down, you can squeeze in four boxes in the arrangement as shown. And you should have enough room for a bed. Rotating back inside to our furnace lab area, we're going to start putting down more doors. Make sure the single doors open up the opposite way of the way you are wanting to peek, so that the single door does not block any angles in front of you. Back at our breech peaks, we'll set up a vertical embrasure facing inwards and a horizontal embrasure on the outside. We'll do that on both sides. With the vertical embrasure, we get a peek up onto the roof and down into the base for when the collapsible is broken. From down below, we can place our horizontal embrasures and jumping up, we can finish setting up the rest of our doors. On our roof breach peak, we'll place horizontal embrasures facing inwards on the sides and a vertical embrasure on the outside. We can also finish the embrasures on our mini mountain roof style peaks. And moving down below, we'll finish off these embrasures as well. And if you're worried about someone going through this gap, you can also place chain link here. Finish it up by placing two beds with two small boxes on the sides. If you happen to live on an ice lake and you want the wooden walkway like I have in the base floor, just follow along. And with that, the base is pretty much finished. 